Hello everybody, it's Paul with Fruitful Trees and this tree is so fruitful. This is a Kamito, also known as a star apple. It is, to me, one of the juiciest fruits I've ever eaten. And it is just absolutely great. And Laura Farms has several different varieties of this fruit. And I have a purple and a green variety. I don't know the variety though. The great thing about their place down there is they name the varieties. I wish I would have gotten mine from down there so I would have known what I had. Uh, and uh, but. Uh, these are delicious fruits. I definitely recommend everyone try it at least once in life. And if you have room, get a tree. Uh, Laura Farms sells the trees. I'm going to show you a video today of me at Laura Farms uh, tasting some of these and also talking about some of these trees. Absolutely delicious. And get down there, folks, if you're in the South Florida area. If not, the great thing is you can order these trees online from him, but you can also taste the fruit. Uh, he, he ships it out online when it's in season. And guess what? It's in season. So get to the link below the video, depending when you're watching this video. And you could taste not just the, the star apple here, uh, but you could taste the different varieties of the Kamito that he has. So that's really cool as well. So, and these leaves are beautiful. Look, there's green. And then on the other side, they're brown. Just a beautiful tree. And I got that in front of my house. As I said, that's a green one. I have another one down there. Uh, definitely check it out and enjoy this video. All right, everybody, here we are at Laura Farms, and this is Julian, and Kamito is one of an amazing fruit. And this tree doesn't need a lot of work once you get it in the ground and, and gets established. Probably the least work you need on this tree, but here's Julian, and Julian has so many different varieties. Which variety is this? Wow, look how big that is. This is um, our house variety. Um, we, uh, we planted probably about uh, four, no, five seedlings. And um, out of the five, we got this one, which ended up being a really good variety, kind of like winning the Kaimito lottery. So uh, this one, what I like about it, has a very thin skin, uh, very low latex, um, and uh, it's just uh, a nice size, like a baseball size. Um, I have another one called Burgess that's a softball size, but that doesn't come in until March. Another really good thing about this is that it starts making fruit in January. Uh, commonly, all caimitos start uh, making fruit in March. They start ripening in March. But this one starts in January, which is very, very unique, very special. Um, so let's cut this guy open. And it's not a big tree. How old is this tree? Um, 20 years. Wow. So it's not big. For a 20-year-old tree, it's certainly not too big. Yeah. Well, remember, it's grafted. We grafted um, that one seedling that, that came out, which is this. And we planted a whole bunch of these trees. Um, it uh, it grows a lot slower and smaller once it's grafted, because uh, you know from a seed they grow they grow like a candle. They grow straight up as a completely different animal. When they're grafted, they're more I don't know they're more uh, compact. So let's cut this guy open. Alrighty. So this is a seedling from your farm. Yeah. All right. And what's the name of it? We just call it the, the um, Lara House variety. All right. If anyone wants these, you can get them on his website. I'll put the link below the video. There's all the varieties he has are here uh, below the video. I think they're on. I think I have them right now in one gallon on on my website, LaraFarmsMammy.com. So you want to try one, Paul? Absolutely. All righty. All right. Here we go. Wow. Yeah, this is the bottom part, which is even better. That is good. Alrighty. The bottom's even softer. And Twitter, wow. <laughs> wow. That's I mean, probably the juiciest fruit out there. You can you can eat really close to the skin and it won't bother you. Usually they have a lot of latex and it dries up your mouth or sticks your lips together. Everybody, this is also called the star apple. It's called Kamito. They come in green and purple. How many varieties do you have here? Well, I got this one, which we call the Lara House variety. And then we got the Ippolito, which is the white one. That one doesn't come in until March, but it's a softball sized fruit. And um, it's very, very productive. So it starts in March and finishes in June, just like this one finishes in June as well. We have another one that we call the Lara's Plum, which is a smaller fruit, but boy, is it sweet. And it starts pretty early, just like this one does. 
um, super productive as, uh, as you can see. Um, but all the all the ripe ones were picked already. So wow, for a look. short tree, that's a lot of fruit. Yeah, you can see this one turning purple already. There's probably a hand, uh, like two or three that are turning purple, but they're not going to be, you know, the way they, they're supposed and to. And when you said there was a white one, you mean on the inside, not the outside, right? Oh, yeah, on the inside. On the outside, they turn, uh, they stay green, or sometimes they turn like a pinkish color. Sometimes they turn uh, even like a bluish color. It's kind of weird. But that one I, I managed to bring in from the Dominican Republic from the former president's house of the Dominican Republic. His name is Hippolito Mejia. So I saw the tree, it had a humongous fruits on it. I asked somebody to get one for me, I tried it. I was just blown away. It's excellent, it even has like a hint of coconut in it. Um, completely white inside. Brought some budwood, uh, grafted it. I grafted three um, different grafts. And they all took, I was just so lucky. I, I won another Kaimito lottery with that. So, and the tree's over here. One of the original trees. Oh, wow. Yeah, and this one's big. This one grows really big. That's a big tree. Yeah, the one in the Dominican Republic was humongous. It was an old tree and it was a seedling too. But even though this is grass, it still wants to get big. And if you look inside, if you look carefully, you can see some baby ones that are gonna be ready for yeah, March. There's one right there. And for April and for May and for June, as all, even for June, like this is what a, a June fruit was looking like. And it still wants to flower. Wow. So, so I got this one too. Here's the Burgess. Burgess gets the size of a softball. And they're still, you know, they're still babies right now. Here's a, here's some bigger size ones. So are these are green or along. purple? Purple. These are purple. Yeah, this is from Jamaica, the Burgess variety. Okay. And then, um, over here, I got another one. Just maneuver through all these avocados and put them down. This variety I got from uh, Richard Campbell about 20 years ago. Some, uh, some budwood called Karango. It's so productive, super productive. I think you tried this on my la yes. on the last video and you liked it. Delicious, absolutely. Okay, and then the last variety I have is in the truck over here. All these are mangoes in 15 gallons. Blue's on it already. That one's ice cream. So anyways, this one is called Taco Verde. And verde means green, so it's obviously a green caimito. It's white inside. Now what's special about this one is that when caimito season is completely over, it's already June and you got your last caimito off your tree, that's when this guy decides to make fruit. This guy starts uh, ripening fruit in June and July. And you'll have caimitos June, July, August, September. Wow. It was unheard of. I, I, you know, I had no idea when I got this that it, was, it, it, that it behaved like that. It just, um, it just revealed to me just from watching it grow and just studying it. And the eating quality is not the best. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you right now. It has a thick skin. It has everything you don't want in a caimito. But it is a caimito. You know, and it's sweet. It tastes good. But... You know, it's not the best one out there. I'll, 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 I'll disclose that. But it makes fruit when there's no, when the, when it's out of season. So that's why it's important. So some is better than nothing. <laughs> Something's better than nothing. Haco verde. Yeah. J -A -C -A. And these trees are really easy to take care of. You were saying, right? The easiest of all. Low maintenance, like zero maintenance. No fertilizer. No spraying for bugs. No spraying for um, fungus. Um, just water. Kind of like set it and forget it. Especially in the beginning, just to get it out of its juvenile stage. Once it breaks through its juvenile stage and it's grown and it's attached, the roots have gone out, it pretty much takes care of itself. It's an amazing tree. Alrighty, everybody, get to this website. And there's so many other things he has here for sale. But if you're looking for Star Apple Camito, he's the guy to contact. If you're in the South Florida area, come check this place out. Yeah, I'm still open to the public. All right. I mean, the website has been really good. Um, very, very surprised and very pleased.
on the amount of interest in tropical fruits. Uh, I, I get a lot of customers, a lot of orders um, from California, Arizona, Texas, a ton of orders from Texas. And even here in Florida, not necessarily South Florida, but all throughout, you know, Central, West Coast, Northern Florida, Orlando, a lot of customers interested in tropical fruit. And uh, it's worked out great, you know. And you sell fruit on your website as well. You have 10 pound boxes of different fruits that are in season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, let me tell you, I do my best to, to, to make sure those fruits arrive in perfect condition. I pack each fruit individually in um, craft paper and I cushion it with craft paper and, and I, I go through a lot of trouble making sure it, it, it gets delivered safely. And I um, figured out post office is not the way to go. I'm sorry, post office people. But um, I, I went, I'm going with UPS and uh, they're more reliable as far as the, um, the delivery. You know, if it says it'll be delivered in two days, it'll be delivered in two days. Now, obviously, if you live in California, me being in Miami, it's going to take four days. Now, for something like that, you know, I would rather go with UPS. All righty. All right, everybody, there it was. Depending when you're watching this video, you can get some Kamito, some Star Apple right now at the link below the video. And about this, and order a fruit and taste it. But this is Kamito, also known as Star Apple. Have a great day, everybody. Put your questions below and have a great time. Keep growing.